Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Oh, uh, check that on the back of this flyer. On the bottom is our contact information. You give us a call, and we also have an email on there. Because these are the things, these are the things that's gonna fix our community. Right, so I heard y'all when I came out of the crib on 15 kids, so I was trying to see who was talking. Okay. <laughs> Three blocks. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. How you doing, bro? Come over. Come check it out real quick. What's your nationality? African American, come over here real quick. So on this sign, where would you see yourself? Based on what you just said. On this side, this is what the world calls us, and this is this is the side what the Bible says. American blacks. American blacks, so you would be from the tribe of Judah. You, are you familiar with Jesus Christ? Yeah. What do he look like? Black. He black, you know that. Yeah. How do you know? The Bible told us. The Bible told us. All praises, you know that. So what does that tell us? If Jesus is black, what does it tell us about us? Black. We black. Because Christ, believe it or not, let's go put that real quick. I know we read it earlier, but you weren't there. We're gonna read it again out the Bible. Because if we say we are we, we, we say we American black, at one point I caught saying that I was a black man. We from the tribe of Judah. We just affirm that Christ is black because the Bible said, right? right? So read that. What tribe was Christ from? Read. No, uh, yeah, have you from 7 and 14? We can read that after. Give us one moment. Because come back over here, come back over here. Read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, on, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So it's, it says it's evident that our Lord, which is Jesus the Christ, Sprang out of Judah. Read. Of which, of which tribe? Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So, if Jesus was from the tribe of Judah, we American black. That affirmed that Christ was a black man. And what does that mean? That who are the, the Israelites? Who are the Jews? They black. That's the truth of the Bible. But yet, are we living like we are God's chosen people? We not. So read that real quick. The book of Jeremiah, chapter. Uh, read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter fourteen, verse two. Judah mourner. And the gates thereof language. So it says Judah mourning and the gates thereof language. Meaning the gates thereof language is the leaders. Read. They are black unto the ground. So the tribe of Judah, it says they are black unto the ground. What color is the dirt of the ground? Black. So this Bible is our history book. All of these things that happen throughout our history, you can read it out of the Bible. You understand that? So, we just, what was the, what, the question I just asked you? What did I just ask? After that, I asked you, right before we read that, I asked you a question. What Jesus nationality is? It was something else. Uh, right there? No, you said it right there, right? No? No, nah, I was back up here. I just asked you a question. Uh, whatever. My man is, man is escaping. But, one of my questions, this. Are we living like with that with that not information? Are we living like we God chosen people? Why are we not living like we like we God chosen people? Uh, we don't know. Right, because you said you just said that the Bible tells us that Christ is a black man. 
Did you did you grow up going to church? Yeah. Did you ever hear that in church? Not really. I just I had I read it on my own. Right. So the, that's the thing. So in the church, we a lot of us grew up going to church, but yet into our adulthood we found out that Christ was black. Right. We didn't find it out coming going to church. So what does that tell you about the church? That tell you that the church ain't set up for us. Right. <laughs> because the church is not telling us that we are the Israelites. Right. The church is not telling us that we have to keep the commandments. The church is not telling us that the reason you went into slavery is because you broke God's commandments. Right. So that lets you know that the church system that's set up here is set up by the same people that took us in slavery. You understand that? Yeah. Let's get Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> Oh, uh, check that on the back of this flyer. You, on the bottom is our contact information. You give us a call, and we also have an email on there. Because these are the things. These are the things that's gonna fix our community. All right. I heard y'all shit when I came out of the crib on 15 kids, so I was trying to see who was talking. Okay. <laughs> How many blocks away is that? Three blocks. Yeah. All the way down that way on 15. This 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 Roosevelt. So you heard you heard some of the things we were saying. Yeah. I was already coming to McDonald's. Okay. But I know who y'all is, though. I be looking at y'all. He were Israelites. We the Israelites, yep. And you are Israelite too. That's right. Yeah. That's what that's what we out here teaching. Cause the thing I'm about take it. One of y'all services out. All of these things. Give us a call. Just give us a call first. All right. But all of these things that happen, even with our Hispanic brothers. Yeah. This land. Who whose land was this? Yeah, it was all ours. It was all ours. This is our land. But today, they building walls on Texas, saying they can't come over here. Right. They got ICE taking, deporting illegal immigrants and deporting them back to Mexico. When Mexico, at one point in time, extended all the way up to California, um, Texas, all of that was part of Mexico. Right. But now, they being restricted. They call it illegal aliens on the land that they inhabited. A land that they were that, that that was conquered. Let's get that real quick. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Start there. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments in his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we just read here that God is going to punish the Israelites for breaking his commandments. Meaning bad things are going to happen. God gave us a set of instructions. It was our duty to keep it. We didn't. So he said, okay, I'm going to discipline you. And what was some of that discipline? Let's jump up to, what, 19? Verse 19. Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. So when we are born into this world, are we born into are we born into good neighborhoods? We born into captivity. Right. Because this is captivity. Us living in the projects, the slums, having the low, the lowest uh, opportunities and all right. that, that's captivity. Right. We are in the ghetto. Right. This is our captivity. We still in the land of our captivity. We just don't got chains on our neck. But we still got chains on our brain. Right. Because we follow after Christianity. We follow after Islam. We follow in every religion on this earth, but none of them religions are showing us to keep the commandments of God. Right. So you got the flyer, get Matthew 26. You got a flyer. Make sure you get in contact with us. Make sure, because maybe we was out here for you. You was blocks away and you heard us. So maybe the reason we is out here is for you, so that you could be on this side of the fence with us, teaching the people. Right. So make sure you keep that flyer, get in contact with us. I read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 6. Now when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman, having an alabaster box, a very precious ointment, and poured it on his head, as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For the ointment might have been sold for much, and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath brought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you. But me ye have not always. 
For that, she had poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. Verily, I say unto you, for the so ever this gospel shall be preached into this whole world, there shall also this woman have done be told for a memorial for her. So every time we come out and teach the gospel, what's the, the true gospel? Is that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, and Christ came to die so that we can have access back to the Most High God through keeping his commandments That's right. and the faith of Christ. And what this woman did was anoint him for that burial. So we read this to show that our women, just as we out here teaching, we out here teaching on the streets to bring the people in, when we bring them sisters in, our sisters have a very, a very vital role right. in helping rebuild the nation of Israel because they teach the children. They help the men. They make our garments. They, they do these things for us. Right. So the women have an a important role. It ain't, this, this, ain't no, uh, oh, this ain't no sausage fest where it's just all men. Right. It's just the men come out, we come out to teach the people and bring the people in. Right. And then when the people get brought in, we continue to mold them, and the sisters help mold the women, and the sisters help mold the children right. to rebuild our nation. So that's why we read this. Like I said, make sure you get in contact with us. All right, bless y'all, man. All right. Appreciate y'all. Men of Israel, sons of God, who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. The black messiah. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.